Caleb, whenever you are ready, sir, you can begin. <laughs> Life is nothing more than a series of events. It's what you are. We can all agree on that pretty easily, I'm sure. Tonight, I want to tell you about something that means a lot to me, and that's billiards, commonly referred to as pool. Now, this game is nothing more than a series of events. Uh, you take a shot, and it's super easy to learn, by the way. I just want to point that out before I get too far ahead of myself. <laughs> super easy to learn, most difficult thing to master. It's kind of like life. Right? No matter what you do in life, you never get a handle. So tonight I want to tell you about three things that pool taught me. One of them is learning how to have control when you feel like you don't have it. What you want to be when you grow up, and who you want to be when you grow up. Now all of us, tonight especially, probably had a moment where we felt like we didn't have a handle on things where you just didn't have that control. And that's kind of terrifying when you think about it. It's kind of like waking up in the morning and everything just kind of is out of place and out of whack and your dog is going crazy and you can't get a handle on it and oh my god, what are you going to do? And it's just like watching this guy run a rack on you and another rack on you and another rack on you. And all you're doing is sitting there going, oh my god, all I need to do is get to the table. All I need to do is figure out how to have control. So how you approach that situation is what's going to mean a lot. It's how you handle it. Do you have control over yourself? That's what Pool taught me. Is to have control over what I do, how I react. So we've gone over the control issue. Right? That's pretty big. All of us at some point in time have wondered what we're going to do with our life. And you, you probably were going, Caleb, this is a pretty big stretch. What the hell do these, these two things have in common with each other? Cool. Okay, so you, you got the control part down. The guy's done at the table. You approach the table. What are you going to do? You have 15 balls on that table. You have infinite number of possibilities to make a shot at anywhere in that table. So you just jump in, and you just go for it until you get to the end. Other times it's... You know, you, you got a plan, you got a game. So when somebody asks me, hey, what do you want to do in your role? What do you want to do? You know, I kind of went through emotions first. Now I got a game plan. Now I know what I want to do. I'm going to follow it. So we talked about what you want to be when you grow up. Now let's talk about who you want to be when you grow up. And before we get to that point, I need to tell you about James. And it, it's not scary like Herbert was in my first speech. I'm not going to get emotional, I promise, I'm not going to cry. Um, James is a guy, he's a phenomenal pool player. Super good. And it's not because he can and he will be that guy that runs rack after rack after rack on you and make you feel like you don't have control. But when you get to that table and you're just playing for fun, this guy goes, Caleb, you're being an idiot. Why are you shooting like that? They'll stop you in the middle of a shot to teach you how to beat it. It's, it's cool. That's impressive. That's, to be that confident in who you are and what you are as a person, to, to let somebody else win is incredible. So James taught me that no matter what, winning, losing, it doesn't matter. It's how you play the game. Literally, how you play the game. How you influence other people. So, I've told you about how pool is really important. I've told you how it affects the control in my life, how I learned that from pool. How it taught me who I want to be when I grow up, and what I want to be when I grow up. This game is so important that you will never, ever, just like life, get a control over it, or a mastery of it. But it's something that you should learn. Thank you.